Hi, my name is Monica Yearwood and I'm the founder of Hamsa Ayurveda and Yoga in Chicago. And today I want to share with you a little bit about what happens behind the scenes when we are preparing for a Panchakarma client. So at our Ayurvedic Center in Chicago, we specifically focus on programs that are four to eight weeks in length and are transformative mind, body, and soul. As Ayurveda perceives that the physical body is the byproduct of the subconscious mind. So most of our imbalances begin in emotional disturbances or chronic stress. And of course, while the physical body inevitably becomes involved to truly heal, we have to approach it holistically, looking at mindset, emotional trauma, as well as physical healing and bringing the body back to balance with regenerative detoxification techniques. So when a client books a program with us, we begin weeks in advance. We start off with a full body mind assessment and then we construct their program accordingly. So the first thing I wanna show you is how we create the oils for each of our clients. In Ayurveda, oil is called snehana, which means to apply love, apply love to the tissues. The skin is the largest organ on the body. So whatever you put on your skin, your body consumes, just like a nicotine patch or a progesterone cream, it goes into your lymphatic system and into your circulatory system. So in Ayurveda, we have a whole line of medicinal oils. These are oils that have been infused with herbs for anywhere between eight hours to 36 hours. Um, and the herbs are chosen specifically for your constitution and that's what we use as a primary form of medicine while you are doing the treatments. Today I'm preparing for two clients that are coming in from out of town, which if you ever wanted to do treatments with us, you could certainly come in from out of town. People will rent um, local Airbnb that's in walking distance and spend the day with us. We prepare all the food for our clients specific to their constitution and what it is that we're trying to regulate. So we cook for you, we give you treatments, you come for meditation and yoga, we prepare all of your herbs and all of your oils specific to your constitution. And the oils, as I had mentioned, is one of the most important features of Ayurvedic medicine. So I'll show you those first. So this is sandalwood, white sandalwood, that's been sustainably harvested from Australia and it's infusing in almond oil. And we're going to use this uh, on a client this weekend. We're gonna also probably add some vetiver and some camphor. And in this pot, I have um, a adaptogenic rejuvenative oil that's being made in a sesame seed oil base that has ashwagandha and shaktapari and rami and astrologus for a client also who's gonna be doing PK with us this weekend for rejuvenation and um, anti-aging. So we're excited to have both of them and preparing for them to come this weekend a few days ahead of time. So this is our workshop space where we do meditation and we do yoga and we also do meditations for emotional release and transformation. All of my programs when I work with students um, and when clients come here for panchakarma treatments we always incorporate an element of ritual and ceremony into our work and I know that the word ritual may sound esoteric but rituals and um, you know practices where you're doing something to observe and acknowledge what you are going through um, as using them as an opportunity to initiate yourself into a new phase of life can be very powerful and can be very healing. It's something that human beings have been doing cross-culturally all over the world since the beginning of time. And I believe that it is also something that we have collectively been losing in our society and it can be very powerful if you're going through a divorce, if you have lost somebody that you love, if you want to commit yourself to your self-care practices, to do something using the elements of nature to state what it is that you are letting go of, 
and to commit to that which you would like to initiate yourself into, it can help to support and facilitate the transformation that you are seeking in a much more powerful and sustainable way. It's something that I have observed time and time again um, that my clients really embrace and really love about what it is that we offer here. And it is something that makes us unique as an Ayurvedic center that we really integrate the power of ceremony and ritual into the healing work that we, we do because your mind and your emotions are the most important part of your healing. Stress, fear, worry accelerates the progression of all disease and it stands in the way um, of healing. So doing emotional work where you're able to come to peace and acceptance about what has happened in the past and become an active participant in your healing process learn how to utilize your mind, your attention, and your awareness to support and facilitate healing can be so powerful. And you really can learn how to access that through ritual, through intention, and through ceremonial practices. So with this client in particular, and a lot of the clients, we do a really beautiful rose ceremony where you put your intention for healing and what it is that you'd like to um, procure from the experience into the rose petals and then we pluck them and we put them in the bowl and then I'll, I'll actually use these roses um, in the medicines, the herbal medicines that we're going to apply in our clients, whether that's in a scrub or whether taking the rose petals and infusing them into the oil that we're going to be using on them. So I'd like to introduce you to two things in this room. The first thing is this wooden table. Um, which is our droni and uh, a droni is a massage table that's made out of wood native to your land so this table is actually made out of poplar wood uh, laying on the wood native to your land is believed to enhance the healing properties of the massage therapy itself the second thing I would love to introduce you to is Ayurveda's use of copper so we have a copper bowl here that we use in our foot soaks that helps to draw toxins out of the body. We have a Kansa Vitaki wand which is made with copper and two other metals that we use to massage the bottoms of the feet or we have another wand that we use to massage the face and it actually produces an ash uh, that can be wiped off of the skin that is the toxins that have been pulled out of the body. And we also use uh, copper bowls uh, with candles to heat the oils, the medicinal oils that we make. And we also have a copper shirdara pot. So this is a pot that we fill with oil and the oil comes out of the pot and it's um, applied over the third eye and the forehead and the hairline in specific strokes and those strokes help to totally sedate and relax the nervous system, inducing a really deep, meditative, relaxed state so that deeper healing can happen as it assists the nervous system uh, to come into a very deep and relaxed state. Thank you so much for joining me on my little tour of my beloved Hamza Center here in Chicago. If you're interested in doing Panchakarma with us, you can schedule a free consultation with me. During that free consultation, I do a brief assessment of your current toxicity levels and a review of what your goals and intentions would be in wanting to do Panchakarma with us. And then I can give you a high level overview of a program and a plan that we would suggest to do with us. If that is of interest to you, you can click the link below and schedule that consultation with me. Thank you so much. And I hope that this information aids you on your path.